Welcome to Tales of Bedlam. I'm your host. You forgot, forgot who you were? Name. Oh my god. Nob Twister. This is going well already. I am he who setteth his posterior upon the sofas. And I'm death. Oh lord. Sit down, death. And That's right. No reaping for the next hour and a half, please. We have a very special guest with us today, Mr. Death Hades. You just read your lines and behave yourself. Don't kill anything. I'm here for a fantastic time. Jeez. Today's tale is our second one of our spectacular, spooktacular Halloween specials for October. <laughs> that was punny. <laughs> At death, would you introduce this story? Oh, Lord. How some children played at slaughtering. I'm sure that gives you all kinds of pleasure too, doesn't it? You know, put your sickle down. Thank you, Death. That is the title. This tale encompasses two stories. That's right. Two stories with different endings. It's a twofer. Mm-hmm. This is originally was in the Brothers Grimm's original collection from 1812, but oh. the brothers decided to withdraw this tale. Because it may not be appropriate reading for children. But it's fine to listen to. Just don't let them read it. It's depressing. We'll let you be the judge. (laughs) What the heck? This is so bad they took it out of their collection? Yes. (laughs) Wow. So without further ado, how some children played at slaughtering. Story one. This just starts out gruesome. Just the title's gruesome. Uh, All right. In a story named Franeker, located in in West Friesland, uh, which is apparently in the Netherlands, in the northern part of the country. I've been there. Yeah. Of course you have. People die there. We know. I'm quite often there because it's so cold. Sit down. And lonely. Ugh. You can interrupt interrupt me the whole time. I tell you what, dude. You and me are going to have some (laughs) words. Uh, Now you made me lose my place. Some young boys. Uh, Wow. Some young boys and girls between the ages of five and six, that's very specific, Mm -hmm. happen to be playing with one another. They were accidentally. Whoops. I just want to point out the equality here. There were boys and girls? Yes. Playing together. And never mind that they were all white and blonde haired, but. That's that's probably why they took it out of their edition, (laughs) because they were girly quality. They chose one boy to play a butcher, another boy was to play the cook. I can just see where this is going already. This isn't okay. And the third boy was to be the pig. Oh boy. Death, sit down. White children squeal when they die. I knew it. (laughs) That's not okay. I can see where this is going for sure. It says playing, but I'm a little worried. So, I guess I will continue with the story. Then they chose one girl to be a cook, and another girl her assistant. And there's the there goes your equality. (laughs) I was just gonna say, and the equality went out the door. The assistant was to catch the blood of the pig in a little bowl so they could make sausages. Man, those people eat anything. Blood sausage. So gross. As agreed, the butcher now fell upon the little boy playing the pig. Oh! Threw him to the ground and slit his throat wide open with a knife. Holy crap! Wow, the assistant cook caught the blood in her little bowl. This is some serious plan going on. Is this like a Fisher Price bowl? I don't know, one of those little pink like teacup <laughs> tea set. It obviously wasn't a Fisher Price knife, because I, I've tried. You can't stab your brother with that. Weird. This so they just got right into it. I guess so. They just held this kid down, slit his throat, mm-hmm. and collected his blood. Alright. <sighs> 
I'm not okay with this. A councilman was walking nearby and saw this wretched act. (laughs) Hmm. He immediately took the butcher with him and led him into the house of the mayor, who instantly summoned the entire council. (laughs) Oh, boy. Wow. How do you handle this? Uh, someone needs some serious therapy. Death, do you have any, like, advice in this situation? Oh, you would. Why? Mm. Wow, he's quiet for once. He's just over there slobbering on himself. Um, no, it looks like he's sharpening his scythe. Oh, stop. I told you to put that down. Just keep sharpening and don't move. Uh, They deliberated about the incident and did not know what they should do to the boy, for they realized it had been part of a children's game. Well, be that as it may, not okay. One of the councilmen, an old wise man, advised the chief judge to take a beautiful red apple in one hand and a gold coin in the other. Okay. Okay. Then he was to call the boy and stretch out his hand to him. If the boy took the apple, he was to be set free. If he took the gold coin, he was to be killed. What? Take the coin, yes, to take the coin. What? (laughs) It's exactly what I would have done. Oh, of course you don't lie. Oh, boy. Death, would you finish this story for us? The judge took the wise man's advice, and the boy grabbed the apple with a laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you're creepy. Thus he was set free without any punishment. Well, I just don't like that at all. That's mm-hmm. not how that's supposed mm-hmm. to go. Maybe that's why they took this story out. I think after the first instant where kids actually slid another kid's throat open, they were like, mm, maybe we should remove this from our collection mm. of stories. Yeah, and then he gets away with it. That's I get exactly it. what I'm getting at. So, <laughs> he didn't, yeah. They don't learn any lesson. <laughs> There's no lesson to be had here other than you get a nice apple if you kill your friend, and drain oh, his blood in a tea, tea cup. Beautiful red apple. There's a different ending? Yes. Well, if you thought that was gruesome, the second story is much, much worse. And these are related? Everyone dies. Oh, your kind of story then. Jeez. We sure kind of ticked off the first one. Nobody died. (laughs) Except for the poor little pig. Poor little pig did. (laughs) So story two. Mm -hmm. There once was a father who slaughtered a pig, and his children saw that. Well, that happens. You Mm -hmm. gotta get bacon somewhere. Yep. In the afternoon, when they began playing, one child said to the other, You be the little pig, and I'll be the butcher. (laughs) That'll be fun. Yeah, I bet it will. He then took a shiny knife and slit his little brother's throat. (gasps) Oh my god. Gosh! What the, what the <laughs> flip flop? It's even worse. It was his brother. <sighs> the mother was upstairs in a room bathing another child, and when she heard the cries of her son, she immediately ran downstairs. Upon seeing what had happened, she took the knife out of her son's throat, and was so enraged that she stabbed the heart of the other boy. Who had been playing the butcher. What is going on? What's going on in the Netherlands? I don't know, man. This is... This this is... Yeah. Murder. He slit his brother's throat, so the mom's ticked off. She grabs a knife, stabs him in the heart. In her rage, she kills her other son. And she leaves... After pulling the knife from his... Throat. And she leaves the other one upstairs in the bath to drown, apparently. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't mean to spoil it, but <laughs> then she quickly ran back to the room to tend her child in the bathtub, but while she was gone, he had drowned in the tub. Holy crap. Too late. Too late. 
Now the woman became so frightened and desperate that she did not allow the neighbors to comfort her and finally hung herself. Could we have... Don't ever live in this house. Six people die in the matter of four sentences, please? Death, can you finish this story for me? I, I can't do it. I just can't. When her husband came back from the fields and saw everything, he became so despondent that he, too, died soon thereafter. Yeah, well, now I see why you're sitting in on this story, you big idiot. Jeez. Hope you're happy now. A good death can, and should, mean different things to different people like you. Dustin. <laughs> well, that was, uh, well, you know, at oh least there was. My goodness. It was all in the course of an afternoon. There was no goodness in that story. I can oh. see how they. So that one was just. I'm wondering if they got some complaints. It wasn't just like, oh, hey, maybe we should take this one out. They probably got complaints. <laughs> they had a PTA meeting. We can't have this in our children's books. An you have to take it out. Century PTA meeting. And burn it, please. And you know how those kind of meetings yeah. usually ended up with somebody strung up on a yeah. rope, <laughs> tied to a burning cross upside down, or drowned. Wow. Well, I don't think you could put any more gruesomeness into 12 lines of a story if you tried. I've seen worse. Well, you've done worse. <laughs> Whole cities have cowered before me. So, uh, always a pleasure to have you here, Mr. Death Hades. Yeah, come back and anytime. If you liked this second of our installation of Five Tales for October of Spooktacular Spookulariousness, that made no sense. It was gruesome. If this tale grossed you out, and got you in the mood for a spooky Halloween. Tell your friends, family, be our sounding board. Let people know Ooh. about us. Direct them to any kind of podcast playing app and have them subscribe to our show. There's three more for this month. Good night. Bye. I'll be seeing you soon. How come we didn't find that one last year? That was gruesome. I did a lot of looking oh. because it's not in the book that yeah. I have. Oh, it's not in the book. <laughs> because they removed it. <laughs> wow. Well, at least they didn't make the blood sausage and then eat it in the first one. I you think that made... one's bad? Wait till this next one. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'll make you squeal like a pig! <laughs>